Yo, 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 how's it going, everyone? Welcome to the finale of Dark Souls Remastered. I like the helmet, where it looks like teeth. It's like a really big smile. <laughs> yeah. The top teeth being really short. And oh, I know. Ones being super long. I kind of see that. And it looks like the nose at the top. Oh, my gosh. Just kind of like looking down on you. Like the, uh, <laughs> what was it, the solo leveling? Uh, the, the meme that's going around for anime? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's for the solo. They, there's a meme leveling. that goes with it in some ma manga comments. Yeah. Like reading the comments of things in, in manga stuff. Nice. Um, where they change the, the look and it looks like if it's if it has any like uh, fan service stuff in it. Yeah. It just shows the same guy yeah. like, with his teeth all like that, except oh, yeah, the lip goes up and I've it looks like he's biting his too, teeth, right. biting his lower lip. I've seen that meme, it's so funny. Oh <laughs> it's my so god. Good. Um, that's a great meme, yeah. but so, okay. So I was talking to Brent before this, we have two ways of going to fight this boss. Yeah, it's a perfect uh, five out of seven. Meme. Perfect five out of seven. Yeah. Meme, it's fire. Just as fiery as this bonfire. Oh, <laughs> so, okay. Two options. You remember the big, the big lady? Who's like up here, like the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, mm -hmm. I, the queen. We yes. can if we shoot her with an arrow, we have access to this boss. Oh. Or, or we can equip uh, this. Oh, I remember this spot, the infinite hallway. Uh, yeah, yeah. We can so we can either or we can equip the dark seance ring, mm. which will grant us access without having to kill her. Essentially, yeah, yeah, yeah. which one do you want to? That one. This one? Without yes. having to kill her? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's do it. Boom. Easy. Done. Done. I think I can even take it off now. I don't I don't need it. Um So okay, if anybody wants to see what happens when you do it the other way, uh that the other way I did it on my John's Long Play channel, so you should go check <laughs> that one out. But uh it also makes Anne Orlando dark. Yeah. Uh, which means you can't use the bonfire, I believe, or you, you oh. can, but it's, you can use this bonfire, but I don't think there's other ones you can use. Oh, okay. Um, and then, yeah. The great Lord Gwyn, tarnished it shall not be by the feet of men. If thou art a true disciple of the dark sun. Did it spell feet wrong? Uh, I, I don't. Should not be like. I think it was feet, as in like F E A T, like a feet. Yeah, I thought I saw two E's. Oh yeah, no, I don't think. So. So you can't have the people. Men of <laughs> men cannot walk in here. Is that what they're saying? I I. Or is it they just can't? There's no ability that no uh, uh, renown that humans can have to go in there. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. All I know is that we're pissing him off by entering his chamber. Walking in there. Your feet are in right here. Yeah. I brought my feet <laughs> in here. My <laughs> feet of feet. <laughs> He's like, the person's just like, I don't like ratemyfeet.com or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rate my feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So this is infinite hallway. Uh, it's not actually an infinite hallway. No. I just remember it being as one. Person. It's a very long hallway. But it's it's definitely not infinite. Um, oh, he's already running. Okay. So anyway, this is the boss, uh, Dark Sun Gwendolyn, who is another one of Gwyn's uh, kids, I believe. Um, it's a Dolan version of Gwyn. Yes, exactly. It's like the evolution or the pre-evolution of Gwyn. You know, Gwendolyn evolves into no Gwyn should evolve into Gwendolyn. That makes more sense. <laughs> yeah, the name always gets longer. Um, no, nope. let me hit him. Right in the 343 damage. There you go. Of the spot of the body. So you know that, uh, so you know that queen that we're, um, you know, talking about earlier? Mm -hmm. She's actually not real. Like she dead. Not a real queen. She, she's an illusion. Well, yeah. it's a great illusion. Never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> she's an illusion made by Gwen. Gwendolyn. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, an illusion made by Gwendolyn. Basically, to to try and keep the peace of Anne Orlando to be like, oh yeah, no, she ain't dead. Like everything good in yeah. the, in this house. Um, but then it turns out, you know, that everything ain't good in this house. Uh, she dead. Gwen's doing his own thing. And uh, Gwendolyn's kind of, yeah, just trying to make everyone happy uh, by pretending that, you know, nothing is wrong. God, I hate this stupid boss. Um, yeah. Gwendolyn is a dude. 
Yeah. That was raised as a daughter. Okay. Yeah. Just in case you wanted nice. some of that lore. That's usually the opposite of what happens. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I know. I know Gwendolyn is a is, is a is male, but I don't remember exactly what the implications oh, nice. were. Two yeah. Hits. That's the thing is so while they're teleporting, you can get some extra hits in even if you don't see them. It's pretty decent. I know my lore. Mm -hmm. I know my strats. Come on. I I just brute force it and like oh, I will learn eventually. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Darn it! Oh my god. I need to remember not to get too close first. Like I need to dodge these. These are easy to dodge. Dodge that last one. Uh... Yeah, I don't know the lore of Gwendolyn. I I think yeah, he just kind of like hung around while his ancestors and Very parents and stuff were doing -like. shit. Very Medusa-like, yeah. Very easy boss, though. Like, hits hard if you don't run behind the walls. Yeah, um, I remember dying many times to this person. Yeah, re like, just not that bad. Um, well, although I, I was always, like, under-leveled for things. Uh, I just kind of... I don't know why I was under-leveled. I think you just oh, I think there just we go. Nice. Died so many times that I just lost so many souls and just never leveled up as often. Yeah. An Boom. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna put a curse on me. Guess what? See, the scales couldn't put a curse on me. I got a curse bite ring. So. Bleh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay. So, so the end of the hallway. We found it. There we go. Um, but it's funny though because even though. Gwendolyn does that at the end, like reverts it back to here. Mm -hmm. um, even if you do chase him, you can chase him the entire length. Ah. Yeah, and it does end and he, he eventually will just kind of be in one spot. It's just a very, very long hallway. Ah. Yeah. It's little, a mimic. It's a little fun fact. No, that one's empty. And this one's not a mimic either. It's a miracle sunlight blade. And uh, this one is something else. Is that, is that ooh. armor? Yeah. And so now I'm going to. Miracle gonna... Sunlight Blade is an enchantment on your weapon? Man, uh, this is why I like to, uh, just, like, collecting all the magic and then just trying to use them. Yeah. That's the only reason why I level up magic, just so I can use the magic. <laughs> so. It's like the half the game has, like, <laughs> yeah. never been used. Like, I gotta want to use all these things, yeah. and then just never having, like, a reason to use them. No, I mean, that's fair. I, as someone who continues to never use magic in Dark Souls, um, I actually don't know. I think Miracle Sunlight Blade is, like, it... It. My guess is it's a miracle, which means that it's it's a faith spell. Mm. Um, but I don't think it's an enchantment for your weapon. Okay. Maybe it is. I don't know. It just summons a floating sword to attack Probably. by itself. Probably. Or it's probably like, I don't know. It feels very Diablo. It, yeah. I'm not sure. But anyway, we beat that boss. And now, Brent, do you know what we get to do? Uh, we go fight Gwen. Uh -huh. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to go fight Gwen. <laughs> I'm like, uh, name. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can't think of names. <laughs> so you know what's kind of crazy as well? And I don't know if this was meant to happen. You see this guy over here? Yeah. He's supposed to be dead. Nice. We, <laughs> like, we saved him. I think we saved him by no never talking to him. <laughs> Should I talk? I'm going to talk to him. Ring the second bell? What? Is incredible. Yeah, I did. So I guess because we never talked to him, he never died. <laughs> well, do you okay? Do you remember what happens to him? Do you know what happens to him? I forget. So he ends up. So we ring the second bell. What he was talking about right now, he's like, "Oh, we got a big problem," and it's this big dude over here, yeah. dragon dude, and he's like, "He's gross. I don't know what he's gonna do." Rah, rah, rah. Eventually, he makes his way down to um, New Londo with all the ghosts, mm -hmm. and then he be he dies and becomes an undead. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. But this is the first time, I think, where I've just never talked to him <laughs> and and found out, hey, he can survive. So, so good, good on him. So dying is uh, everyone's fault who talked to him. It's really funny how, honestly, honestly, that is a lot of the, the quests for the most part. Like, if you don't talk to a lot of people, a lot of people are fine. As soon as you start helping them, there's some horrible, horrible things that happen. Yeah, it, it's great. It's the same in like most Souls games, I think, at this point. 
Um, yes, is it something urgent? I need to. Uh, uh, chunk? Ooh. Tiny chunk? I don't have any. Well, no, I don't want to. Oh, if I, I feed mean, him, you need one. He breaks right. it down, essentially. He, he you know, Dougie's uh, dances. Mm -hmm. No. He, um, he will break down material into smaller material. Oh. Yeah. So but he, it, he, he basically. He's a, a, a rock tumbler? Yes. Exactly. 100%. Um, he polishes them for you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's got a big tongue, so maybe. Anyway. Um, yeah. So that's 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 it. That's a weird connection to his jaw it is a, his throat. It is very his strange. Neck? Oh, like, look at it. Like, he is basically like a snake. I don't even think he's like a dragon. He's just a... I don't know. He's long. <laughs> He's a real long boy. That's all I can say. It makes me think of cat dog. <laughs> true, true. What if that's it? What if like the top of him always stays there and the bottom of him, bottom of him always stays there, but he eats you at the top, you go through his digestive tract and you come out <laughs> as, as in the bottom. <laughs> he never flips around. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Anyway. Um, welcome to, uh, the, the final internet. area. Welcome to the internet. Uh, this is the internet. I hope it's good Take for you. Uh, I can't remember the rest of the song. I didn't even know you were quoting a song. It's, it's a Bo Burnham song. <laughs> oh. Welcome oh, I, yeah. Take a look around and something. And that's it. That's nice. The, the, that's the, the melody that I like. That is some <laughs> solid Bo Burnhaming, I think. Um, something could be found. Uh, some, something. <laughs> some good, some better, some worse. I don't know. Uh, you should be a writer. This is now the. This is now the 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 whole episode of me just recreating oh a song. <laughs> Poorly recreating a song, <laughs> just kind of filling in words wherever you think they should be, but clearly they shouldn't be. <laughs> All right. You ever watch uh, the, the Power Rangers? Uh, when I was a kid, I did. Okay. So the original Power Rangers movie. Is, did you watch that one? I don't know. Like, I definitely watched a, a show, like a, a TV show growing up, Power Rangers. And I think I may have watched a movie or two, but I don't remember so what movies. The or first two's. one is uh, with all the original, original. Um, would you call it the characters? Yeah. Uh, the characters from the the, the Dragon Zord and all that stuff. The second one is that like the Dino one, I think it is. Oh, uh, okay, I remember the Dino one. I, I, I think it's called the Dino. One. I, I, I think I don't know if it's different. <laughs> it's been a long time. Yeah. There's a, there's a second movie with a whole new cast that that replaced the original one. Right. So, but I'm talking about the very first one and the very. And, and I say this because I only watched it because I realized the Red Out Chili Peppers song, Higher Ground, was in the opening scene. Really? And I'm like, I right, will watch this. And then it was one of the reasons why I went back and started watching the rest of Power Rangers. That's that's kind of cool. <laughs> Interesting that uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers has such a like a... I don't know. It's got a hold on you. <laughs> it's got Red Hot Chili Peppers. I, I gotta watch it. <laughs> I've heard it since I was like two years old. Yeah, well, that'll do it. Uh, and it was my, my dad's favorite band. Yeah. So much so that he named one of his kids Kiedis, which is Anthony oh. Kiedis' last name. <laughs> I really thought you were going to say, yeah, he named one of his kids Red Hot Chili Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, <laughs> what a good name for a kid. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so... Uh. Uh, yeah, it was. It's just uh, Red Chip Everest. RHCP has always yeah. been very important uh, in in what I existed in, basically. Yeah, <laughs> just life in general. Because it's uh, ooh, owie. I don't know. It, everyone says it's not okay. Critical for explicit, explicitly, he hates Red Chili Peppers. Oh, really? Just because he. I don't remember why what his reasoning was. They're too good at music. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I don't. I generally like. Yeah, I, I don't care that he doesn't like them. Yeah, but he's pretty adamant against Chili Peppers. 
Really? I, I don't know why. I don't think I've heard anything about that, but... I, there's like three separate videos of him, like, shitting on her. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> no, and dude, Red Hot Chili Peppers are awesome. Uh, I think uh, my dad is so into them because he watched them when they were small. Like, right. The, 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 like a small band, just kind of there. And I think that's why he was... Like, he watched them in Vancouver when they first performed here or something like that. Damn. Also, <laughs> uh, plin, plin Plon. Oh, darn it! Oh. I talked too much in my throat cutting. That's okay. I, I just wanted to say Plin Plon Plan because that's the name that the internet has given the song. <laughs> that makes sense. Because it's all the Plin Plon Plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. If you type in Plin Plon onto YouTube, you'll come up with this right away. <laughs> um, I'm not really fighting him right now. I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna die. Probably. You're, it's destroying your endurance. <laughs> Yo, for sure. Yeah, no, I, I should be doing what all the cool people do and like this. Ah. Yeah, he, you can parry him the entire time. All of his attacks, you can parry. Um, that being said, I'm not a noob, so I don't parry. Oh, he tried to grab you. He did try to grab me. I didn't like that grabby hands. Nope. Come on. Come on. Nope. Come on. No. Almost. I'm so bad. Almost. Uh, no. Not. No. Not particularly close. Not, not good enough, dude. Just not and good enough. Dead. Nope. <laughs> close to being dead, but not. Okay, yeah. Oh. So close. Oh. Come on. Come on. I'm just trying to, like, bait him around a rock. I'm trying to remember. I must have taken a while to kill this guy. He's not. And that's the thing. He's really not hard. I don't remember. I'm just not paying ever parrying. There we go, Ever. easy. I don't remember ever doing that. It's not, and that's the thing, you think most bosses, they'd be like, you wouldn't be able to parry them, but then like, you can, in in this case. Cause like, all the other bosses, I don't think you can parry for the most part, but. Easy, no, come on. Duh, darn it. Oh, uh, oh he's got me, he I got me on that. He like got me for sure. Do you wanna try? Sure. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to run all the way back to him. All right. Let's see but if I can my end super the sweaty <laughs> controller. Ugh. End the series on my possible ability. Do it, Brent. You can I did it. do it. Do it. Press the wrong button immediately. Immediately. That, that's how you know he's it's gonna, gonna go gonna perfect do it. without mistakes. So what I tried to do, which kind of screwed me up, um, is the cool the cool thing? I did you notice that when I went into the boss fight, he ran up to me and then did this jump. An attack? Yeah. You can parry that. Ah. Yeah, and I was trying to, and then when I didn't, it threw me off, and I was like, no! <laughs> <laughs> How can I beat him? And then I realized, oh wait, I should be parrying. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh. Um, so it's up to you if you want to fight the Black Knights, for the most part. You don't have to, you can run past them. Um, yeah. Uh, let's just go. Yeah, that's what I would think. But there are they I think they are going to follow you. So you might just have to watch out. Oh, yeah, he's right there, dude. Oh, he. Yep. Oh, nice. Right in the butt. Right in that booty. Look at you Back switching off. to two hands and then dying. No. Winning, surviving, thriving. Dying. <laughs> <laughs> OK, there you go. Easy. Perfect. Right, Gotta get them in the skills. Ended my run. <laughs> okay, man. The boss. That's okay. Oh, he's okay. got the he's got the great sword. He's gonna kill your stamina. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can stop oh, it. Oh, if you if that was even ground, you gotta would have got slammed by that. You can do it, man. Oh, look at that! You were totally on his side, and it was like, nope, you got a backstab. Oh, he's doing it. His big one. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, he hit you. Oh, he actually hit you with that. Like, come on. Wow. <laughs> hit me from behind. That's or crazy. Like when I was behind him. That's wild. Okay, I was gonna trying to do some that. Yeah. Yeah. Get practice your parries, because uh, you might have to parry when maybe. Like, what is that? You parry the platypus? I've never seen an episode. I've seen a couple, and a lot of the memes that come out of it is pretty hilarious. <laughs> yeah. uh, what was it? Green, orange, and brown? It's Perry the Platypus. 
Oh, it's, it's green and orange. And you're like, okay. And you see a brown color pop in. It's like, Perry the Platypus. Yeah, because that's the colors of Perry the Platypus. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, can you do that with like anything though? Yeah. Like, yeah, like okay. yellow, yellow, white, and brown. SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> Pretty much. What? Oh. Stop it. Come on, buddy. There you go. Easy. Just, just three SS flasks. Nice. You don't want to get that, right? No. <laughs> no, we're going to leave it here forever. <gasps> it's a Titanite trunk that we need. All right. Well, we need like two more, I think. Not that we're going to plus 15 this anyway. Oh. But that's okay. All right, you just got to go down here. There's two more Black Knights. You can fight them if you want. Or you can run past and just go right for Gwen. It sounds like a plan. Nice. That's good. What are you doing? <laughs> You're just I was going like, I'm going to... Oh, no. <laughs> That's just going to kill you. Whoa. He was doing the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> he had the same idea. <laughs> oh, come on. You can do it. Oh. oh I didn't want to do he that. He died. Oh, cool. He died. He must have fallen off the he edge after off, doing yeah, that. Did the jump? Yeah. You're, you're probably going to want to heal right when you get in here. Because if you don't, okay. He's going to jump. Oh, see, that would have been good timing. He's going to grab. Ooh. You can do it, buddy. You're way more aggro than I am, which is good. Oh, look at that. Oh, bud. You got this, Bo. Bo. You're bad. Bud. I'm burning. <laughs> yeah, right. Dude, look at this. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Once you get him on a streak of like this, you can just you just got him. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can. Oh, <laughs> that was so I, good. I meant to roll and I, I moved instead. That would. No, honestly, honestly, that was a really good run. You got him up to the same health that like I had got him at and I was struggling <laughs> way more. OK, third time's the charm. I'm probably going to cut out these runbacks because these runbacks are just so annoying. All right, Brent, are you ready? We're rolling. We're doing uh, this we're on there. We are going to fight this guy. Come on, Gwen. Pick up my souls. Oh, darn it. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I accidentally blocked it. <laughs> <sighs> Stupid. <laughs> like that little kick he did. Oh, God, now he's kicking my butt for laughing. Okay, well, sorry. It was just a really funny thing. <laughs> nope. Ain't got me. I'm the gingerbread man. Oh. Nope. Why can't I get the freaking... That's what happened to me just before I died. Yeah. Dang. No, it's okay. I can heal twice. There we go. I just, I don't use parries anymore because an Elden Ring parrying <laughs> is not the greatest thing to do, but like, yeah. So I, I, I kind of lost the timing of parries, but I, I, I think I can get it back. We're just going to stand here. Uh, it's close enough to like- Oh, he grabbed me mid roll. That's rude. It's close enough to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth parry that I can- That you can do it? Then I'm okay. Yeah, ah, fair okay enough. Okay enough at it. There we go. Okay. At least as, as long as I get one, we're fine. Uh, that makes me think of Game Grumps, and uh, the, it's like you, everyone gets one. <laughs> it's a, it's, a, it's a, uh, the fuck move. It's the, the you falling down, you go fuck, and then you go up <laughs> yeah. for a second, and then you fall down again. <laughs> okay. It, it just, I forget which. which game was that when they're playing? The only thing I think of when it's like everybody gets one is that Spider-Man reference in Family Guy. Oh, where he yeah. like saves one of them and he's like, remember, <laughs> remember, Peter, everybody gets one. And then later on, he saves another guy and Peter's around and he's like, tell him, Peter. He's like, oh, yeah, apparently everyone only gets one. Yeah. OK, Brent, we. It, that, that's what uh, oh, I only bring that up because remember Smash Bros like two episodes ago? When you're talking about Smash Brothers? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's what I first thought oh. of it. Because your up B special is your fuck. Right, <laughs> right, right. Um, okay, Brent. We have one final decision to make. Okay. Did you know there's two endings to uh, this game? Burnt lighting the thing or just going on? Pretty much. Yeah. Um, how do you want to end it? Do you want us to burn the fire or should we just peace out and just say nah? Uh... What ending do you want to see? I've, oh, I don't, I only think I've done the lighting it only. All right, let's run away from our problems then. 
We just doomed the world because we decided, hey, let's <laughs> beat up the, the Kindle, and now we're just not going to Kindle. So the funny thing is... This moves on to, like, the age of something else now? Yeah, so, the age of darkness or yeah. something. Um, so this is funny. This is the ending you should get with, with siding with the other dude. There's a lot more of them, but... Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Keith and Frampt. Yeah, so Fram King Seeker Frampt was the one that we were just hanging out with. Yeah. The Keith or Kath is the the evil one. The one who's basically like, nah, don't kindle the fire, like let us just live in darkness and shit. And so that's what we have decided to become the overlord of this new world. Ah. And uh instead of burning ourselves for the good of everyone, we have decided let's just rule over them. Let's destroy it rather than, you know, keep a dying one alive for a bit longer. Well, I mean, that's the thing. We're the Lord, is the thing. We're the Lord of Dark Souls now. Yeah. So we can just do what we want. <laughs> like, yeah. So anyway, that's the canonical, like, I don't know if it's a bad ending necessarily. It's just, it, it's supposed to be like good ending. You take up the mantle and kindle yourself and die and fire yourself forever. Um, or you leave it and then it just starts the Age of Darkness. Uh, spoiler <laughs> alert. Spoiler, spoiler alert. You rather fire yourself forever or fire yourself from this job. <laughs> yeah, there you go, right? <laughs> um, spoiler alert, the second game is the exact same thing. It's like, oh, Kindle, the fire's going out again. We gotta light it. And then I think there's like three endings for that one because it's like, mm. you light it, don't light it, get someone else to light it or something. Um, I think that's how it is. And then I, Dark Souls 3, I think, is just, oh, it's going out again. And then it's like, oh, it doesn't matter what you do. It's like going to go out. You're, are you this? Uh, I heard that the the third one is you're playing the same guy who played the first one. I is, is don't that think that's correct because. Or you're or the first the guy that's in the first one is somehow in three somehow. And I don't know if you play as him or he just was a character or he was just the lore in it. So like the Dark Souls one, two and three are connected in a sense, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't even say they're close enough to even like, there are references to Dark Souls three uh, or there are references in Dark Souls three to the original Dark Souls. Yeah. Like there are places you go that are very it, similar to Dark It might have been Souls just one. like, uh, Theory crafting. Kind yeah, of. yeah. I mean, well, okay, so if we were to theory craft off of that, let's say we went with the good ending, mm -hmm. right? We become essentially Gwyn, like yeah. how Gwyn was, right? Dark Souls 2 would then mean that we would be the final boss of Dark Souls 2, which we're not. Hmm. It, it is someone else, I believe. Uh, so um, there's somebody else that happened in between that. So, well, see, that's the thing is like, what happened? Have to be, yeah. Exactly, right? Um, Dark Souls 3, there is also another person who who is the Kindle, Not but the there could be a connection where people are like, oh, your ending in Dark Souls 1 actually would make more sense to be the final boss in Dark Souls 3. Maybe that's it. I, that's the only way I could see our character coming back mm -hmm. in Dark Souls. It, I don't think it would be that we are playing as that character because that character is like, if they go with this ending or the other ending where we're locked in, for like at least a thousand years burning and kindling and stuff like we're not going to survive that like we're not going to be able to like all right i did my time time to go hang out with the boys and <laughs> stuff right we would be essentially dead like gwyn he'd been doing this for a long time we just killed him mm -hmm. we finally that said hey take a break go die right yeah and now we're doing that and so it, between dark souls one and two there's i don't even think there's like a timeline of like when it happens it's got to be thousands of years later I would think multiple Kindles have gone and not and stuff, but maybe not. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I don't think they're connected in the sense like you have to play Dark Souls 1 to play Dark Souls 2 and you don't have to play Dark Souls 2 to play Dark Souls 3. Yeah, the way I, when I first played Dark Souls 1, the way I saw it when I first played is that this place is not like Earth or whatever, right? It, right. It's just a in-between world that yeah. everyone ends up in, like a purgatory type of thing. Right? Yeah. And that these souls are just existing here because they were ejected from their personal times, mm -hmm. or, or or this is like at the end of the the road of the planet or whatever. And when they die, they just go to the end of the road rather than kind of understand. Like that's how it felt. Yeah, like. yeah. It's like uh, 
when you die in the past, you just go to the end of everything mm -hmm. and just wait there for everything to end. Right. Uh, and then that's why they can never die is because they keep coming back because yeah. it's the end. Uh, kind of thing. So you're playing a guy who died in the past. Yeah. Who's now here, who's trying to either end it or continue it in some way. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the story that I ended up coming with. Yeah, it's funny because the way you describe that does somewhat make me think of Elden Ring a little bit. Oh, okay. The, the themes that you're getting at are are similar yes, ish to Elden Ring. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't, again, I'm not giving anything away. Yeah, but again, this whole storyline, I don't understand it. I still don't. Yeah. If, if, no matter, if I read into it, maybe I would see people's it, it, explanation it, it, or theory of it. Yeah. But what I came out, the story that I came away with was that. Yeah. It was just like at the end of time where everyone's kind of like converging at and it just repeats and it just feels like it's a cycle of repeating yeah. death. Essentially. We'll see. And that, and that kind of does touch into it because this is a cycle yeah. for the most part because it's the cycle of the, 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 the not the Elden Ring. The fire is going to go out. Do we burn it and yeah. continue and repeat the cycle this or do is, we break the cycle? Once you start doing a new game plus and you end up in the same place, this is why I said, thought it was yeah. a cycle. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Because that'd be really funny. It's like we became Lord of everything and now we're in jail again. Yeah. We did so bad at our job. It's because, <laughs> eventually, because eventually after you became the Lord of whatever. Yeah your turn is up with the next person and once you die for for the next person to go you end up back to before you become the lord of cinder again yeah pretty so much you just ascend essentially just go back and continue a cycle that's already happening yeah yeah like it's, that's just repeating essentially yeah. and a good way to explain it is the if you ever watched Futurama, the newest I, season i haven't watched the newest season or maybe not the newest season. i watched up until like it got like it ended Essentially, oh, the the where everything freezes and Leela and Fry walk around. Where there was one episode where they were going forward in time to skip a little bit. Yes, yes, but then and I, then they accidentally go to the end of everything. And yeah, they, just and like then it what, what, if it, what if there's a cycle and they just keep going until they end up and it's like, all right, I can just shoot Hitler outside the window. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, yeah, um, I okay, you know what. Thank you for watching us play Dark Souls. <laughs> now we're going to quickly go through the game again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, just go back to our other playthrough and see how far we got. Yeah. And just to say that that's the cycle. That we <laughs> well, there you go, right? <laughs> All right, but that's an unfinished cycle. So, uh, yeah, fun, so fun fact that you can you see this it. guy from here. That's uh, the, the asylum demon, but the more the powerful one. Into, yeah. yeah, that's right. Pretty much, but... Uh, yeah, anyway. Um, oh, and I do want to pose that question because of the, the Hitler thingy. It's like, you had a <laughs> chance to go back in time to kill, to, to, to stop baby Hitler yeah. uh, from being an adult Hitler. What would you do? Stop baby Hitler from being adult Hitler? Yeah. That means you're killing a baby. Exactly. No. It's like, Wait until he grows up. My whole thing is like, <laughs> if that happens, if I went back in time to grab uh, to to like, if you know, that, the question's always like, kill the baby, save the world type of thing. Okay. Well, why don't, you just, baby, why don't you just <laughs> grab the baby, yeah. take it to the future, and then you kind of have uh, a new place for the, the Hitler to grow up into. True. And then it's like, it doesn't happen. See, what I would do is I just go further back than that. To when, <laughs> before he was conceived and just break them up. <laughs> just break them up. Just like, guys, you two aren't good together. Just, you, you might love each other, but it's best I, to just split. <laughs> I think abducting the kid is better than murdering the kid. You're not murdering. You're preventing them from being like, born. I'm just saying, like, if, if they, you need that amount of people, right? you're better off just taking the kid and bring him. True, to the true. Yes. It's not like it's going to happen. In, in the sense that you have to either kill the baby or take it with you. Take it with you is always better. But if I can just stop the baby from even existing in the first place, <laughs> I will just take that. <laughs> Uh, I guess. Okay, we need to end this. <laughs> they, I, it just that that has been a like a, oh a my thought. God. Like, why does everybody want to kill the thing? Jeez. Just just take it. God, why does everybody want to kill baby Hitler? <laughs> you don't need to kill the thing. Oh jeez. Kill the baby. 
Anyways, anyways. anyway, <laughs> all right. Well, if, you, we if you're still watching, thank you for watching. If you liked Just this creative. episode, this series, comment hit the bell like it do whatever create a time portal where you just take the kid or you know make the parents sterile other one yeah that's it that's that's all you have to do who would have thought that at the end of our dark souls theory the gameplay we'd be talking about how to prevent hitler (laughs) i I blame futurama at this point oh my god okay (laughs) we'll see you in another series coming soon to a youtube channel near you as in ours as and you should subscribe if you're not um anyway do it. Okay. It's bye. All in how you raise it. <laughs> <laughs>